about words used in Toronto that don't make any sense. So to start off, a common word used in Toronto would be a lie, which is like A H L I E. So normally that's used to express like skepticism or like, you know, to prompt affirmation. Next one would be arms. And we're not talking about th these arms. So in Toronto, people use that word for like, um, you know, the description is off of an action or the statement that's like rude or like offensive. So people would say like, that's so arms. I know, right? On to the next one. The word bear. Not like the teddy bear, you know. Not that bear. But the word B A R E. So that basically means like something that's excessive or like in abundance. Next word is booked. Booked. So that means like caught in the act of doing something that's like frowned upon or like illegal. Another word that like I personally don't use but I always hear all the time would be bout it. So B O U T it about it so that basically means to be interested and willing to do something so like I'm about it are you about you know learning to go to school okay anyways <laughs> terms are so weird honestly the next one is cut Cut basically just means to leave, so like, we're gonna cut out of this party, cause it's whack. <laughs> um, the other one is... Dunno. Or it's spelled D-U-N-N-O for like slang, so I thought you can see it. So, D-U-N-K-N-O, or D-U-N-N-O, don't know. So that basically means like, um, to show someone or tell someone that you agree. So. On to the next one! Let's use a different color. Mm, let's do orange. The next word is flop. Flop. So that's basically to like cancel out or bail out on plans. So like you're such a flop. You're flopping? Why? Moving on. Next word is lit. Like that party. That's my party hat. That party was so lit. Basically means like it's exciting or you know in the state of complete bliss. Like that party was so lit. That alcohol was so lit. That club was so lit. Last one. I know it's not just used in Toronto, but in general, um, a lot of people use it nowadays. The next one is ratchet. Like that girl is so ratchet, or that boy is so ratchet. 
So that basically means like someone who's like loud, obnoxious, or like attention seeking. Three more words, guys. Hang in there. Another one would be like say word. Like a lot of people use this. I'm not sure if this is like a Toronto thing only, but you know, like people say it as a rhetorical like kind of statement to be like like to show someone that you're shocked. So like say word that we have a math quiz tomorrow. Say word that that guy is single. Excuse that perverted face. <laughs> Another one is scrap. Scrap, not as in like your piece of paper scrap, but scrap as in like a fight. Last word is from, from time. So that basically means from a long time ago. And that's pretty much all I have for, you know, words that don't make any sense that are used in Toronto. Um, if you guys have any other slangs that Toronto people use or just like, just maybe stuff that like your country uses that people in Canada might not use, just like comment below and just let me know. Um, so that's it for this video, and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and bye!